hello dear friends welcome to my channels today's discussion is Feynman diagram okay so friends before the Feynman diagram you need to know know meson nucleon scattering and you know no weak theorems okay i have already explained in my video what is weak theory so let's start Feynman diagram like the silicon chips of more recent years, the Feynman diagram was bringing computation to the masses. This is Julian Swinger. As the above example demonstrates to actually compute the scattering amplitude using Weeks theory is rather tedious. There is a much better way it's required required drawing pretty pictures these pictures represents the expansion of eigenstate expectation value fsi eigenstate expectation value fsi si we will learn how to asso associate numbers to them these pictures is are called Feynman diagram. The object, the object that we really want to compute, compute the eigenstate f s minus one i, since means eigenstate expectation value. Okay, since we we are not interested in process where no scattering occurs the various terms in the perturbative expansion can be represented pictorially as follows draw an ex external line draw an external line for each particle in the initial state i eigenstate initial eigenstate Kate I and each particle of the final state Kate F. We will choose dotted line lines for mesons and solid lines for nucleons. Assign a directed momentum P to each line. Further add an arrow to solid lines to denote its charge. We will an incoming outgoing arrow in the initial state of psi function psi bar we choose the reverse convention for the final state where an outgoing arrow denotes psi join the external lines together with trivalent vertices each such diagrams you can draw is one to one correspondence with the term in the expansion of f s minus 1 i okay so Feynman rule let's start Feynman rule to each diagram we associate a number using the Feynman rules add momentum k to each initial line to each vertex write down a factor of minus i g 2 pi whole to the power 4 this is Dirac delta summation k i where summation ki is is the sum of momentum flowing into the vertex for each internal dotted line corresponding to a phi particle with momentum k we write down a factor of d to the power 4 k 2 pi whole to the power 4 i divided by k square minus m square plus i epsilon we include we include the same factor for solid internal psi lines with m replaced by the nucleon mass examples of scattering amplitudes let's apply the feynman rule to compute the amplitudes for various process we start something familiar nucleon scattering revisited let's look at how the works for shy shy tends to shy shy scattering at 
order g square g square is coupling constant we can write down the two simplest diagram contributing contributing to this process they are shown in figure this is the figure okay so uh, the two low, lowest order Feynman diagrams for nucleon scattering applying the Feynman rules to this diagram we get these equations which agrees with the calculation that we performed earlier there is a nice physical interpretations of these diagrams we talk rather loosely of the nucleons exchange mission which in the first diagram has momentum k equals to p1 p dash and p2 dash p minus p2 this mission does not satisfy the useful energy dis dispersion relations because k square does not equals to m square the mission is called virtual particle and is said to be off shell heuristically it cannot can't can't live long enough for its energy to be measured to great actual accuracy in contrast the momentum on the external nucleon legs all satisfy p square is equal to m square the mass of the nucleon they are on shell they are on shell On shell, on, on one final note, the addition of the two diagrams above ensure that the particle satisfy both statistics. There are also more complicated diagrams which will contribute to the scattering process at higher orders. For example, we have the two diagrams shown in figure. You see the figure, figure similar uh, diagrams with P1 dash and P2 dash exchanged. Using the Feynman rules, each of these diagrams translates into an integral integral that we will not attempt to calculate here. And so we go on with increasingly complicated diagram all appearing at higher order of the coupling constant G. Now let's check the diagram. A contribute of order of g to the power 4, a contribute at order of g to the power 6. Amplitude, our final result for the nucleon scattering. Amplitude, this is the eigenstates. Eigenstates f s minus 1 means eigen f amplitude expectations of this value uh, at order g square was these equations this is the delta delta equations delta functions follow from from the conservations of forward momentum which in turn follow the space time translations in variance it is common to all s matrix elements we we will define the amplitude a subscript f by stripping of the momentum course conservation conserving delta functions expectations if s minus 1 i is equal to these equations okay where p i p f p f the is the sum of the initial and final four momenta and the factor of i out front front is a con convention which is there to match match the non relativistic quantum mechanics we can now refine our Feynman rules to compute the amplitude i a subscript f itself draw all possible diagrams with the appropriate external legs and impose four momentum conservations at each vertex write down the factor of minus ig at each vertex And for each each internal line, write the propagator and integrate integrate uh, over momentum k following d to the power four k 
टू पाई होल टू दी पावर फोर so that this last step observes a short explanations the diagrams we have computed so far so far have no loops they are three level diagrams it is not hard to convince yourself that in three diagrams and momentum conservations at each vertex is sufficient to determine the momentum flowing through each internal line for diagram with loops such as those those uh, this is no longer the case okay very simple very simple diagrams friends you have you have seen this this is the propagator using the propagator and whatever you factor you each write down factor ig is multiply okay to ig so ig whole square each each vertex internal line uh, write down the propagator okay and integrate over mo momentum k flowing the dk d k whole to the power 4 divided by 2 pi whole to the power 2 pi whole to the power 4 okay this is the Feynman rules now the example the two the uh, the two, two lowest order Feynman diagrams for nucleons and mes meson scattering now nucleon to me meson scattering let now look at the amplitude of the nucleon antinucleon pair to annihilate into the pair meson psi conjugate psi tends to phi dot phi and the simplest Feynman diagrams for this process are shown in figure okay Feynman Feynman diagram process you see where the vertical virtual particle in these diagrams is now now the nucleon psi rather than the mission phi the fact is reflected in, in, in the denominator of the amplitudes which are given by i a these equations you get okay so nucleon we have dropped the i epsilon from the propagator as the denominator denominator never vanish nucleon antinucleon scattering you see that the, the two lowest order Feynman diagram for nucleon antinucleon scattering so the for the scattering scattering of nucleon antinucleon psi and sh, uh, conjugate psi tends to psi conjugate psi the Feynman diagrams are little different at lowest order they are, are given by the diagram 13 it is simple matter to write down the amplitude using the Feynman rules notice the momentum dependence of in the in the seconds term second term second second term is different from that the nu nucleon nucleon to nucleon scattering reflecting the the different Feynman di diagram the contributes to process in in center of mass frame p1 is equal to minus p2 and the denominator of the second terms is 4m square plus p1 whole square minus m square if m greater than capital m is less than capital 2m then this term never vanishes we may drop the i epsilon in con in contrast if small m greater than 2m then the then the amplitude corresponding to the second diagram diverge at some value of p in this case in terms out that we may also neglect in i epsilon terms although for different reasons the mission is unstable when m small m greater than capital 2m a result we derived derived in when correctly correctly created the instability adds a finite imaginary piece to the denominator which overwhelms the i epsilon nonetheless the 
so friends if m greater than m greater than 2 m then the amplitude corresponding to the second diagram diverge at some diverge at some value of p in this case it turns out that we, we may also neglect the i epsilon term although for a different reason the mission is unstable when m greater than 2m a result we derive in in, in 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 the equation you see the equation equation when correctly treated correctly treated this instability adds a finite imaginary piece okay so, so this result is result is phi and result is that the del functions theory is ig into 2 to 2 pi whole to the power 4 del to the power 4 q1 plus q2 minus p expectation value f s i this result is very very important this result result okay so we get this result expectation value f s i so when correctly treated this instability adds a finite finite imaginary piece to the denominator which overwhelm the i epsilon nonetheless the increase in the scattering amplitude which we see the second diagram 4 m square plus p square equal to m square so is what allows us to discover new particles they appear uh, uh, as a resonance in the cross sections for example this figure this figure you see show the cross section plotted vertically e plus and e minus tends to mu plus into mu minus scattering from the aleph a l e p h experiment c e r n the horizontal axis shows the center of mass energy. The curve rises sharply around 91 GeV, the mass of the jet boson. So now we discuss Mason catering. For phi tends to phi dash, phi dot phi dash is the simple, simple, simplest diagram. We can write the down has a single slope and momentum conservation at each vertex is no longer sufficient to determine every momentum passing through the diagram we choose to assign and the single undetermined momentum k to the right hand propagator all other momenta are the determined the amplitude corresponding to the diagram shown in the figure this figure amplitude amplitude corresponding to the diagram this integral can be tricky for large k the integral goes as d to the power 4 and k into k k to the power 8 which is at at least converge as k tends to infinity but this won't always be the case now mendel stem variable mendel stem variable stem variable we see that in in many amplitudes above in particular those that include the exchange of just a single particle the same combination combinations of momenta are appear appearing frequently in the demonstrate these are standard names for various sums and di difference of momenta they are known as mendel stem variable so see these equations and where as the example above p1 and p2 are the momenta of the two initial particles p1 dash and p2 dash are the momenta of the final particles we can define these variables whether the 
particles involved in the scattering are the same of different to get a feel for what this variable mean let's assume all four particles are the same we sit in the center of mass frame so that initial two particles have four momenta and the particles then scattered at same some angle theta leave with momenta so p1 dash is equal to e comma 0 p sin theta p cos theta p2 dash is equal to e comma 0 p sin theta p minus p cos theta then from the above definitions we have small a is equal to 4 e square t is equal to 2 p square 1 minus cos theta e is equal to 2 p square plus 1 plus cos theta the variable is measures the total center of mass energy of the collision while the variable t and u are measures the momentum term exchanged exchange between particle they are basically equivalent just with with the outgoing particle swapped around now the amplitudes and involve exchange a single particle can be written simply in terms the mendel stem variable for example for nucleon and nucleon nucleon scattering the amplitude formula definitions you all you have already know that a proportional to t minus m square whole to the power minus one plus u plus m minus m square whole to the power minus one for this nucleon anti nucleon scattering so we say that the first t channel u channel diagram Meanwhile, nucleon antinucleus scattering is said to involve T channel S channel diagram. Note that there is a relationship between Mendel stem variable when all the all the masses are the same. We have S plus T plus U equals to 4 M square. When the masses of all four particles differ, the this becomes S plus T plus U is equal to summation m square i so friends now i stop my lectures now you have you have learned a lot of 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 things in my channel that a lot of stuff in my channel this is the quantum field theory so you know you learn free particles you 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 learn free free fields you learn interactions fields you learn Feynman today's video is totally Feynman diagram i hope i can clear total concept for everyone everyone can understand my work thanks for watching